everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the men's thermal scarf, which you can see a little bit of here in front of you. This is a very easy uh, crochet scarf to make and uh, I have designed this scarf to match the men's thermal beanie which is another crochet pattern that you can find on my YouTube channel and on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So this is the men's thermal scarf. It's the same on both sides. Again, it's very easy to work. And uh, for this pattern, you're going to need about um, 500 yards altogether uh, of uh, a lightweight yarn. I'm using this Line Brand Superwash Merino yarn. Again, it's a lightweight and that one's a 100% wool. You're going to need again about 500 yards as well as a four millimeter crochet hook. Links for all of these items you can found, find in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe Take a look around, find that other men's thermal beanie to complete your set, and uh, enjoy the many patterns and stitch tutorials that you'll find here. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Now I should have mentioned at the beginning for the pattern, you are going to need two colors to make that striping effect, about 250 yards of each color. I'm going to be using this red as well as a white here in my video today. So for this pattern it has worked lengthwise and uh, the finished scarf measures approximately 5.5 inches by 75 inches laid flat. Now if you would like to change the size of your scarf you don't need any particular uh, stitch count. You can just simply crochet your foundation chain to the desired length. So today I'm going to start with my color A by chaining 360 chain stitches. Once you have chained 360 chains in your color A or made your scarf the desired length, you're going to begin row one of the pattern by working a herringbone half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. Now to work the herringbone half double crochet you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, so into the second stitch in this case, yarn over and draw up a loop, also drawing that loop through the first loop on your hook. You only have two loops on your hook then, yarn over and pull through both. You're going to do that in each chain all the way across. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop, also drawing it through the loop that was on your hook. Two remaining loops, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to continue doing that all the way down your scarf, the length, and then at the end, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row one you're going to chain one and then turn your work. For row two you're going to work a uh, half double crochet herringbone stitch into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch in this row, you're going to switch to your color B and then chain one and turn your work. I'm going to work across my row and uh, I'll show you how I like to change color when I come to the end of this row. Now at the end of my row two, I need to switch to my color B. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over, 
insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and pull it through that first loop on my hook. That was all done in my color A. I can then drop my color A and then pick up my color B, place it on my hook, yarn over, and pull through. You can then just kind of pull those little tails a little bit tighter, chain one, and turn your work. Now you're going to be fastening off at the end of each row, uh, at the end of each color. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to work my next row, which is in my color B, over top of these two tails so that I don't have to weave them in uh, later on. So now for your row three, you're going to continue working your herringbone half double crochet stitches in the first stitch and in each stitch all the way across. Just this time you're working them in your color B. So as you can see, I'm kind of working over top of uh, my tails and after I've worked over them a little bit I'm then going to fasten them off or just cut the thread uh, right close to where I leave so I'll work a few more stitches just so you can see and when I'm happy with how far I've worked over top of them That might be good. I'm just going to push them kind of in back, work another stitch, take my scissors then, and just trim those two ends. And then that way at the end, uh, there's not as much left for me to weave in. So then I'm going to continue working my herringbone half double crochets all the way across at the end of row three, chain one, and turn your work. At the end of your row three, chain one and turn your work. You're then going to continue working in your color B, working a half double crochet herringbone in that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row four, uh, you're then going to switch back to your color A and uh, turn your work. You're then going to work two more rows in your color A, uh, switch back to your color B, and so forth. And that's all there is to working this pattern. So what you're going to do is just simply repeat those uh, first four rows uh, until you have worked five color stripes in your color B, and then you'll have six in total of your color A. Uh, so it's two rows of each color. Now I did not add a fringe to the end of my scarf. It's completely optional and up to you if you would like to do so. However, I found it was wonderful without. So that's all there is to working this men's thermal scarf. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you happen to make this, feel free to share it with me uh, as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again next time, and until then, happy crocheting. Bye.